Burns. And you're in charge today as Michelle. I'd just like to take a uh, couple of minutes to uh, talk about the airplane you're flying on today, if you don't mind. You're flying on a De Havilland Dash 8 300. Uh, this is one of the original Dash 8s. Uh, the people that fix them and fly them refer to them as a classic Dash 8. Uh, this airplane's also uh, a machine that uh, Canadians should be proud of. It was made right here in Canada, Townsview, Ontario, by the uh, same people that designed and uh, built the uh, legendary airplanes like the Beaver and the Otter. Uh, the Dash 8 Classic is uh, well known for being a very reliable and rugged airplane. It's able to fly in weather and uh, land at airports that other airplanes cannot do. On a personal note, I've been flying this airplane now for uh, over 33 years. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. And in fact, I actually uh, met my wife on this airplane, so it holds a uh, special place in my heart. The uh, reason I'm telling you all this is, uh, unfortunately, Air Canada Jazz is uh, retiring this airplane. After 35 years of flying up to the cold of Yellowknife, the narrow mountain valleys of Castlegar, the wind and fog of St. John's, and even the beaches of Trinidad and Tobago. And this is actually the very last scheduled passenger flight that Air Canada Jazz is going to operate with a classic Dash 8. And uh, you're going to be playing a uh, little part of aviation history of being the last passengers of millions that uh, Air Canada Jazz is safely transported on this aircraft. So when we get to Toronto, uh, maybe you want to take a few pictures, maybe even give the airplane a quick little pat on the nose, and uh, thank it for a job well done. I know I'm going to.
have one way to look at a Dash 8, it's the DC-3 of the 21st century. Can you, 